Hello students, in this tutorial we are going to talk about inequalities of quadratic equation. This topic is very very important because usually in talk exam, talk I, E and A questions comes from either fractional inequalities or quadratic inequalities because these are more complex than others. So remember, try to understand the basics and fundamental knowledge from uh, these topics. So let's have a quick recall of our memory about the quadratic equations. although I discussed it in my previous tutorial so I would suggest you to go there and understand it however let's have a quick recall right now so a quadratic equation is usually written x square plus bx plus c equal to 0 and try to look on these equations a is coefficient of x square b is coefficient of x and c is a constant term and equal to 0 this is called quadratic equations which, which has the mix maximum power is 2 like which says maximum power 2 like variable x we can see there are three terms x square bx and c these are the three terms and the power becomes highest the first term it's is 2 and second term is 1 and third term is 0 so the grade of this quadratic equation is 2 and therefore we know the root of this equation must be 2 and the nature of root we know whether it's a real number or complex number or equal all depends the nature of this uh, discriminant which is called d or delta which is expressed by uh, these two terms usually however in this tutorial we are going to use d so it is written b square minus 4 a c let's write an equation 2 x square plus x minus 1 equal to 0 so in these equations the value of a is 2 value of b here a hidden 1 so b equal to 1 and the value of c is negative 1 so we can easily find that it is a discriminant for this quadratic equation so let's move on to our next section of this tutorial in this tutorial this table is gonna be focus point that means important topic so let's understand what is on the column and the row so first column represents the discriminant t and we can see the three different options three different cases that may arise whenever we need to find the root then easily we can predict whether they are real or they are equal or they are complex by analyzing the discriminant so these are the three state of discriminant discriminant can be less than zero discriminant can be equal to zero discriminant can be greater than zero so when discriminant is less than zero the roots of the equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero so uh, this is the quadratic equation and in this case uh, no real roots there are no real roots if discriminants less than zero so solution for x square plus bx plus c greater than zero as we are talking about inequalities so there are two possible combination of inequalities written using a quadratic equations like this x square plus bx plus c greater than zero or less than zero so these are the po two possible cases uh, we can find the first cases uh, when the quadratic expression is greater than zero then if discriminant of this expression is less than zero all values of x is the solution for these equalities so whenever we will see a inequalities like this then we can say that all values of x is real number or if we draw a line here i'm drawing a one dimensional line so that you can understand zero let's say this is negative infinity this is positive infinity so all numbers between this from negative infinity to positive infinity uh, is the solution for uh, for these inequalities in case of discriminant uh, less than zero and if inequalities is x square x square plus bx plus c less than zero in this case there is no solutions so we'll not find the solutions for that inequalities our second case is when d equal to zero that means the nature of root of quadratic equation is 
equal both of them are equal x1 equal to x2 and voices can be determined by this simple calculation we know already from the equation the value of b and then we know value of a then it's simple to find out so the solution is all real number but x cannot be equal to root minus b by 2a so try to remember this this is very important to predict the solutions if there are four options then you can easily say oh uh, this is excluded so this on the right options that on the wrong you can easily say it so if i try to draw once again here let's draw it fantastic so this is again on dimensional coordinate system so let's say the number minus b by 2a represents here minus i'm not gonna write it just indicating this point represents the minus uh, b by 2a so excluding this all other numbers belongs to the solution so we can simply write negative infinity to minus b by 2a and from minus b by 2a to positive infinity we can say this way so the inequalities if written this way quadratic expression less than zero then for this particular cases no solutions our third options which are uh, which is more common more practical usually this case uh, comes in exam if t greater than zero two distinct roots which are x1 and x2 that means the roots are different number one is smaller another one is greater they cannot be equal in this particular case our solution is this uh, solution for uh, first cases when quadratic equation greater than zero so the solution for x is minus x to x1 and you know the union sign this is the another way to represent the solutions i discussed in maybe certain functions but today also i can discuss and x2 to plus oshim so let's draw it graphically here we are going to discuss this expression on this one dimensional graph so this is negative infinity and this ends positive infinity so according to that statement it's saying uh, uh let's say x1 is here we don't know the value of x1 let's say it's a negative number which is could be minus one or minus five and x2 is a positive number let's say x uh, minus two could be we don't know unless we solve a quadratic equations so this particular case our solution for x is from negative infinity to x1 and x2 to positive infinity remember this is open so we must draw a open circle here also we must draw a open circle because x1 and x2 not included in the solutions so here it's written x belongs to it belongs to i already discussed in certain functions so it's written negative infinity we use first bracket because it's open we don't know the range exact range therefore uh, it, it is it has been used and then x1 again we use a first bracket because x1 is not included if it was included then we must use a third bracket if x1 or x2 also included union means all numbers between these two sets x to positive infinity so i explain once again uh, for uh, for you uh, so that you can understand easily now uh, the inequalities is this one or second options x square plus bx plus c less than zero in this particular case if discriminant greater than zero then solution of x is x belongs to x1 and x2 it means can we guess the area the range here only this range the opposite exactly i mean the first case the range we exclude now that is the answer for the second case so this range now i can use a different color to highlight it so only this range also x1 and x2 excluded not included so i'm not gonna fill the circle and that is why they wrote this way we can also write another way x1 less than x and x less than x2 so this is another way to write these equations also people write this way x less than x1 and not or remember of uh, union oh, i think their sign should be and sign okay i will discuss it later so and x greater than x2 so we can also write this way no it's right it's right sorry it uh, union not and now solve the problems to understand 
how we, we in real case how we can do them let's write the equation we have written already 2x square plus x minus 1 equal to 0 so what is the d for this case b square minus 4 ac so b here is 1 1 square minus 4 a is 2 and c is negative 1 therefore the value of these two of d is 1 minus minus and minus becomes positive so 8 which is 9 and 9 is a number which is positive therefore the last case d greater than 0 okay so if d greater than 0 then what would be the solutions now in the exam you are given two mathematical problems number one 2 x square plus x minus 1 greater than 0 and another case you are given 2 x square plus x minus 1 less than 0 what would be the solutions yeah solution we already know d greater than 0 now let's find out the value of x1 and x2 i mean value of root which will help us to determine the solutions exactly so x1 and 2 can be written can we find out by the equation we learned from quadratic theory minus b plus minus square root of d divided by 2a therefore it gives us negative 1 plus and minus square root of 9 2 value of a is 2 so if we consider plus first then it gives negative 1 plus 3 i'm writing here plus 3 4 and another if we choose negative for both cases then this is the second scenario first cases it gives us 2 by 4 and second cases it gives us negative 4 divided by 4 so our two values are half and minus one interesting so our x1 let's say this one which is a smaller that is why we choose x1 and this one is x2 now in case of first scenario quadratic equations greater than zero our solution is let's draw the line first then it would be interesting to see this our first dimensional in this case x1 is negative one minus one and half here x2 so according to the formula the answer is this range that means x belongs to negative infinity to minus one union half positive infinity also we can write x less than minus one and x greater than half now uh, let's talk about our second scenario second scenario already we find the value of x1 and x2 equal to minus one and half so second case if we try to draw once again negative one half so our range is this one this is the correct range so answer would be minus one x half or we can write the way it was written here x belongs to x1 to x2 so you know like whenever i teach inequalities i always say three different way the i mean the solution i always explain three different way because in the exam you can find you can experience any of them so it's uh, really important to always think three different way now what if the expression was like this the same equations but written 2x square plus x minus 1 greater than equal 0 and another expression 2x square plus x minus 1 less than equal 0 so in this scenario of course we know d greater than 0 already for both cases only difference in the solution is let's draw the graph once again so this is minus one this is half minus one half we have to fill the circle this time because this half is included minus one and half i mean x1 and x2 is included with the solution this time therefore little change but it's critical both cases this is also included so you have to fill the circle fantastic now uh, we can write this equation here x belongs to remember the negative infinity side is open because we don't know where the amount of infinity the end of infinity we don't know so we must use first bracket but after minus one we have to use a uh, third bracket union again third bracket because half is included positive one excuse me it's infinity so this is the expression by which we can say similarly we can write x is less than equal minus one and x is 
greater than equal half now right here in this case x belongs to minus one and half both cases we use third bracket because this is the close end and x minus one greater than equal x greater than equal half so dear students we are at the end of the tutorials please let me know your comments or your suggestions anything you can also tell me the way i can improve the tutorials you can let me know your suggestions uh, that would be really helpful for me to make a more interactive more better explainable and intuitive tutorials for you so i hope your success in talk exam and of course i want to see you in italian universities studying engineering or economics whatever so all the best for your preparation and write your thoughts in the comment section once again and goodbye see you in next tutorials